A Darcy Karaka e Whaiake nei Darcy has an extensive knowledge and experience working on kaupapa Māori research and projects to provide support and guidance for Fano Apu and Iwi. Darcy is committed to supporting the strategic approach to delivering impact of the research synthesis through specific and targeted communications and engagement. I te huinga, ko mai tō manawa ora, ki a Darcy Karaka. Kei aku manu kākā, kei aku piki ko tuku e piritahi nei, te nā koutou katoa. Uh, huiri a hau, uh, nō Ngāti Parau, nō Naitahu, nō Waitaha, nō Kāti Māmoi hoki. Uh, ko Darcy Karaka tō ku ingoa, a uh, ka, ka tū whakati nei. Uh, yeah, so when um, proposed with the questions, a better future for oceans, one of the immediate kind of um, dates that came into my mind was 2040, kind of following on from here, Pua Pua and Vision 2040, and what was to come, that'll mark the bicentenary for the signing of Te Tiriti or Waitangi 200th anniversary. And so that stands out to me as like a, a neat date, as um, an opportunity, I guess, for us from the last 10 years or the decade of research that the challenge has produced to then imbue that and produce um, tangible outcomes so that when 2040 comes along, perhaps we are looking at different opportunities for management, for governance, uh, for authentic expressions of rangatira tanga, of mana motuhaki, of uh, mana whakahaere tōtika Māori um, governance and jurisdiction models. Uh, and so with that in mind, I also thought about kind of the notion of te paitawhiti or a distant horizon and something that we can aim for. Um, that said, 2040 um, does stand out as one of those opportunities um, to start to kind of envelop the research for more Ngāuri whakatipu or those future generations to come, um, as Sean mentioned earlier. And whilst that kind of dwells in that kind of space of moi 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 a or aspirational kind of outcomes, there's also some tangible outcomes that I think we can achieve along the way as well. So we've kind of begun to explore that notion of co-governance today and albeit across the last 10 years, particularly within that EBM um, strand as well. And with that, I think that's a really um, interesting space currently. Um, there's obviously some things going on politically in, in the kind of sphere at the moment. We have kind of some uh, false narratives, you can call it, and, um, and some whakaro uh, coming from the far right within New Zealand trying to kind of dismantle notions of co-governance. And so whilst it's good to kind of have that aspirational outcome, we also kind of need to think strategically about how we might kind of dismantle those who are trying their best and to, to actually disrupt co-governance in New Zealand and with an Aotearoa. So when I think of kind of ocean governance in the future and a better future for, for the moana and for tangaroa, um, a lot of it is also about understanding who the opposition is. And those opposition, uh, they, can, they exist within the same institutes that you'll come from, they exist uh, within the same organisations that you come from, they may even be your neighbours. And so whilst I consider everyone here an ally today, I would just like to kind of imbue everyone with the kind of confidence to go from there and from here today and take the lessons that have been learned and to also challenge those perceptions, those false narratives um, and those things that might kind of harm or um, this, yeah, I guess in terms of our navigation towards a brighter future for 2040, uh, those whakaro that might kind of um, get in the way of authentic co-governance expressions of rangatira tanga as such. And so, I guess with that said, I'm reminded of a whakatauaki um, from King Potato in 1858. He said, Kotahi te kohao o te nira e kuhuna ai te miro mā, te miro pango, te miro whiro. Through the eye of the needle past the white, the black and the red thread. And I think that whilst co-governance didn't have, or wasn't really like a known uh, vocabulary back then, it, that, that particular whakatauaki is as relevant today as it was back then. And that really is an expression of co-governance, at least from the part of Māori back then, uh, for what, what future could look like then and what it could look like today as well. So with uh, a minute remaining, I don't actually have too much more to add, so I'll leave some time on the clock uh, for, for my fellow speakers, but um, we'd just like to leave that um, part with that note there. Quitter.